I'm at the Saskatchewan Court of Appeal in Regina, where the Lalosh School shooter just had his appeal hearing. The young man, who's now 21, killed four people during a shooting rampage in 2016 and was sentenced to life in prison. However, his lawyer argues that a youth sentence would be more appropriate because the shooter's maturity was much less than his chronological age and that the shooting was quite unsophisticated and was the actions of a troubled youth who just didn't have a way to cope. The judges said they weren't able to make a decision today. They've reserved that decision and will be issuing a written decision at a later date. The Crown made the argument at the sentencing and the judge found as a fact, more importantly, that this was sophisticated, that everything he did leading up to the murders and what he did on that day were not the actions of someone who was immature or vulnerable or those kinds of things. They were all the actions of somebody who was adapting to a change of circumstances as it was coming and who had a plan and he carried out his plan. I can't imagine something less sophisticated. Uh, I mean, he basically got in his truck, drove to the school after he put out a Facebook message saying what he was going to do and what he had already done. There was no effort to disguise, there was no effort to escape, there was no plan to escape. Um, you know, he was confronted with a situation, reacted wrong to it. I, just don't know how you could possibly describe this as a sophisticated plan. You know, the community wants to move forward, the community wants to heal. And when we go through these processes and our judicial system does this process, it kind of, you know, the victims get re-victimized. And it's just unfortunate and we have to go through those processes. And we have those that have been directly affected, like their victims, that are still living with the consequences of that day. Right? They still got their medical conditions. We still got the emotional, the mental that we have to continuously relive, you know, and it, it doesn't help.